Hey guys, it's Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about five ways to improve small coin shows. And basically, it's just things that I've noticed about shows that really could, you know, improve and be worked on. And then in that case, it would really help the coin dealer and it would really help the hobby in general. Because, you know, the more people that you get to a show, the more people that are selling and buying. And it really will help everybody all around. And so we hope these five tips help you. Let's get this video started. So the really reason why we started making this video is because it feels like there's a lot of great practices that are being used at coin shows and they've been used for so long that sometimes it feels like you can add more things onto them to make them better. And so in this video we will plan on talking about some pluses and some minuses of, of things that we see at shows and things that really can be added upon so that there's just more value when you go to a show that's smaller. because. We've been going to a few shows these past few months and it's just been really kind of tough to go because it's just not much advertising, not many people show up or, uh, you know, there's just been a lot of things that catch us off guard. And so we wanted to make this video to hopefully add a little bit of value to the show. And so we hope you enjoy these five tips. So for tip number one, I would say have consistent pricing on your coins. There was a girl that was going through the Houston show with her husband and we were talking to them a little bit and they said it's sometimes it's a little bit nerve wracking to ask people for a price on certain coins because one, they don't have the, the price really, you know, out there for everybody. So what I really mean is, so say he went up to the table, they said it was 100 and they, then she went up to the table and they said it was 125. There's some dealers out there that try to get away with a certain price just because of that person, rather than basing that price off of something that can be negotiated down, right? So there are good dealers out there that say, hey, everybody that comes to the table is 125 bucks, and if you want to negotiate down, it could be 100 bucks. But there's some dealers that go, who is this person? Can I get away with charging them more? And uh, how can I do so? And so. Uh, I think what some of the terminology she said was just it's a little nerve-wracking to ask for a price and be interested in something like that because they know I'm a woman or uh, they know that I'm a kid or they know that I don't, haven't been collecting for a certain amount of time. There's even like newer collectors that come into the space and you can even tell that from a mile away myself. And so for us, when we're doing a table, we oftentimes just price everything on top of the coin or behind the coin and just say hey we're offering this coin to everybody at this price because that's just the right thing to do and if they end up negotiating down or adding more coins to the pile and then we can you know bring the price down on that that would be something that's worthwhile right and so to really improve coin shows I think that if we all had a standard set price for everybody and then that could be negotiated down that'd be a lot better just because sometimes it feels like some coin dealers profile in a way to get more money from somebody else when they really, in my opinion, should be asking the same price from every single person. So for tip number two would be take down old advertising. So we went to the shirt show and this is one of the opinions that we had. We went to the shirt show a few weeks ago and they ended up keeping up their old ad and they ended up having a new ad for this show. And so we ended up looking up the shirt show in San Antonio. And that first ad that came up was one that said, hey, go to this building at this time and everybody will let you in. You can get an early bird pass, all that stuff, right? And so me and Casey, we sat out the, at that building for like an hour, hour and a half, something like that, waiting for at least one person to show up. And so when, we, when it was all said and done, we had to go and try to look up another listing of that show so um, we could see where it was. So we actually ended up finding the show. It was you know, probably about a half a mile down the road in a different building. And so what would be really be great is if they took down the old ads of the shows they were at. And the reason being is because you just don't want people split up during uh, the beginning of a show and you just don't want as much confusion. And so it really doesn't take that much time. You know, the coin zip, you can take down an ad in a few minutes 
and it would really save a lot of people some time. And there's even some other shows where you can go and look up their show, and they have like eight or nine different times because they literally never took down an ad from like 2019. And so having a clear and concise advertising in a way would really help that show because everyone would know what to do, know where to go, how much to pay, and who to talk to. And so that's a really good benefit if you're trying to work on a show. Just make sure that everything's cleaned up, organized, and then, you know, I think that's a good tip number two. Let's move into tip number three. Are you guys enjoying today's video? If you are, please leave a like. It would mean a lot to us because we really want to, uh, you know, continue to make great videos for you. And uh, that support would be a lot to us. Please comment your thoughts on the tips that we have today. Do you think that would help some coin shows near you? Um, I think that there's a lot to, you know, a lot to be added on, a lot of advertising that could be done to bring people to shows. And uh, subscribe if you're new. I think we're going to be coming out with you know, a few videos next week. And you really want to stay tuned for that. But let's get back to today's video. So for tip number three, I think was really important is add new advertising to uh, you know your portfolio if you have a coin show. And what I mean by that, right, is... We've been to a few coin shows and they use a lot like CoinZip to advertise. And I think that's a lot, that's really great for people that, you know, are older and need to get on the internet and look up coin show near me, stuff like that. But I think there's a lot more greater tools out there to be used for um, just reaching the younger audience or reaching people that just may not normally go to a coin show. And a lot of that has to do with YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. If you can get your stuff out there, start to post regularly, uh, I think there'll be a lot more people that. Are drawn to the hobby but also drawn to your coin show and um, that's really just for people that really want to build upon the tools that they're using now there's also a lot of small shows that don't even advertise at all and so you know there's some shows that we try to plan out some shows we try to work towards and get to but they don't even use anything like coin zip at all and so I think the proper advertising even having signs by the street um, things like that would really bring people up in terms of promoting their show because you know the problem that you have when you don't advertise well is that coin dealers show up for the first time and they say okay what benefit do I have to come here the first time and then if it's really promoted well really advertised well I think that dealers end up coming back and they'd be excited about it I know Blake from Royal Coins he goes man I love the shirt show it's my favorite show his wife says the same thing it's because they know how to advertise they know how to do it well and that ends up translating into getting dealers to come back. If you don't advertise well, if you don't answer the phone on CoinZip because they have they have coordinators that don't even answer the phone, um, a lot of that can end up boiling into dealers aren't really enthusiastic about your show, and thus there's no inventory for people to look at when they come to your show, and people stop showing up. And so what I would say really is hone in on advertising and really perfect a way of doing it to where people want to come back and they know that you're serious about running a coin show. There's a show that we're going to be going to in August. It's the Tyler Coin Show. They said, hey, Drew, can you make a video for us talking about the show and talking about the perks of it? And so we're going to really be talking about that in a video because it's a show that you're not going to want to miss. And they're really focused on uh, having an added benefit to you as a collector and they want to promote it in many ways of content rather than just coin zip. But let's move on to tip number four. So for tip number four, I would really wanna talk about having a, a consistent coin show when you're there. And what does that really mean, right? So we go to a few coin shows here and there and Sometimes when we walk into a coin show, they're selling t-shirts, they're selling jewelry, they're selling, you know, just stuff that really isn't coin related. And so once again, it goes back to that same saying, what you, what dealers bring to the show really can help you, help you or hurt you in terms of bringing people back that would be interested, right? So say if you go to a coin show, every single dealer has a bunch of nice inventory, a bunch of stuff that you would like looking through, adding to your collection, that would be great, right? Say you come back the next time, they have half the dealers didn't come back, and there's new, uh, you know, new half the ballroom floor that's covered in, 
you know, tie-dye shirts or seashells or uh, new age stuff that really just doesn't fit your collection. So what I would say if you're running a coin show, really stick to coins and really stick to finding the connections that you need. If you don't have the connections to start a coin show, to fill up all the tables, to get people interested, I think that that in itself is a sign. You really should focus on those people, focus on getting the right collectors, right dealers in the, in the same room. Because if you start to really make it almost like a flea market mentality, you're going to be hurting yourself in the long run because I personally am not going to be interested in coming to a show that is trying to sell me something other than coins. If I'm going to a coin show, I want to see coins. I don't want to see anything else. And so that's just one of my pet peeves of this show. I think that, you know, uh, of the shows in general. And, uh, you know, we, we drove to like the Mississippi show a few weeks back. And a lot of them had great coins. A lot of them were just local dealers. And then when you got to the back of the show, it was like flea market, pawn shop. Um, a lot of that stuff just really was a turnoff and very annoying, uh, in my opinion. It's just something that I think that if you're going to a show, you really should see some coins. But we hope this tip helps people when they start to work on coin shows. Really focus on those coins, man. Tip number five, what I would say is say the Pledge of Allegiance and say the Lord's Prayer before every single coin show starts. I feel like, um, you know, we were at one coin show, it was the Tyler coin show about, you know, eight or nine months ago, and everyone really felt like they were a family and together, especially after saying those two things. It just uh, really brought people together. And also, it really tells people why they're there, right? We're there because... Uh, you know, we're exchanging U.S. currency based on, you know, uh, you know what the what the U.S. stands for, but also what God really ordained the United States to be, and so that's just a, something that I really thought of and uh, would really make coin shows different from different shows like stamp shows and everything else, and uh, yeah, I really did enjoy that. We hope these five tips blessed you guys today. We think it's a uh, a good thing just to create some tip videos once in a while give our opinion on things that are happening in the space and so if you guys did enjoy today's video please leave a like comment your thoughts on uh, you know the tips that we we gave are there tips that you would add are the things that you think that your show would do better at if these things were implemented we want to hear that down below and subscribe if you're new we got new videos coming out uh, you know every single week and we want you guys to be a part but thank you and have a great rest of your week